Hello all heroes and welcome back to Invincible Guarding the Globe and today we're going to be doing some touch and base just kind of taking a look at the account see how we're doing nothing crazy today and then we'll dive into this week's Cecil's Nightmares just to see how far we can go. So as I have previously mentioned my big goal for my account is to get everybody up to at the very least level 300 or as far as they can get at their current rarity and so far we've been doing pretty well we've got omni man robot seismic and battle beasts all the way up to 299 i say i'll just say 300 because that's easy to remember but technically 299 because that's like the break point and then next we're going to get adam eve up to level 300 we'll get there very soon should be able to get the xp rewards from this current nightmare which will get the job done or if that doesn't do it then we also have the extra gda loot event going on right now for downtown destruction so good for farming there and then we'll work our way down through um russ livingston monster girl and angstrom from there our efforts slowed down a little bit Mauler twin needs one more upgrade to get to that level and everybody else is pretty behind. Um, they have to be at least epic plus three star to get to 300. Um, so these other characters are going to cap out at more around the 220 range. And I'm really, at least for the time being, I'm really not too inclined to change that fact. Because um, to be completely honest, I really don't foresee myself building these characters anytime soon. Once I do have them maxed out, though, which I do want to at least do, I don't want to just completely ditch them, because at the very least, they're useful for GDA alerts, and my resource gain has increased quite a bit since I've been getting these characters powered up, so there has been noticeable impact. Once I get them leveled up to their maxes, though, or 300, then we move on to actually powering up my Omnipotent Plus characters. I think we're going to go back to Duplicate, get her up to a little over 600 probably around 619 like i do have for invincible and green ghost here and then i think i'm actually going to pivot to omni man just to have as much dps muscle as humanly possible for things like cecil's nightmares and then probably after omni man then we'll do alan i'm thinking and then finally get robot powered up robot i'm not too worried about but i do need to get him powered up eventually and then kind of in an up-and-coming role, this could make Robot or even Alan get a little sidetracked. Because I'm actually very close to getting Doc Seismic here up to Omnipotent Plus. I need three more Seismics to get him up to Seismic Plus 5 star. I've actually already got two exceptional plus uh, Maulers here ready to rock. I'm literally saving them just for Seismic. Um... And then after that, I would just need an exceptional plus seismic, and then boom, he's at Omnipotent Plus and done. So we will get there when we get there, but he's he's pretty close. It's just, I still need some, some criminal fodder, and I need a lot more seismics, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, we're going to do this week's event here. First, we're going to take a peek at our current score. I actually, I got a little bit of a score boost. I was able to squeeze a little more out of the comic-con event i'm at 22 right now um by about 400 400 and some change which is not a lot but in two days and 15 hours we'll see if that sticks if i if i drop below 25 i do lose a few gems and a few parts for the burger but that's not a huge huge deal um, this one, I'm pretty firmly in the top, in the in the back half, top 100, so no worries there. And now we're gonna see what we can do for the long haul. This is our standard weekly events. We've got gems, we got dossiers, and we got schools out cards going every five here. It's gems, gems, dossier, gems, dossier, card, gems, gems, dossier, rinse and repeat as such this one's gonna be a lot of bulky characters it looks like we're talking immortals we're talking some monster girls i even saw a robot up here um at 20 robot adam eve there lots of shields lots of bulky defenders this is gonna be a pain in the butt however we do have our exceptionally powerful universa 
and a few other nice tasty powerhouses as well. So we'll see what we can do. Let's see if we can at least get to top 100. I would certainly like to, but we'll see. That's another reason why I would like to get Omni-Man powered up, is just to have even more DPS that I can throw at these early stages to get him cleared as fast as possible. Doc Seismic 2, I would love to get powered up. Um, and depending on the timing, I am almost tempted to prioritize Seismic over Omni-Man, because Seismic does have the very nice perk of being a powerful ranged character with a truly ridiculous amount of stuns, honestly. So, honestly... I might do Seismic first, if I'm being totally honest. I'm kind of going back and forth on Seismic or Omni-Man. I want to get them both powered up. The question is just who I'm going to do first. As far as up-and-coming Omnipotent Plus characters, it's going to be Seismic, though. He is by far the closest by a wide margin. I mean, nobody else is anywhere near. Um, I don't remember. I don't think I have anybody else... Uh, do I have anybody? Am I getting stars on anybody else at Legendary? I don't even remember. Okay, I mean, Russ, I guess, but he, he, I'm not available, so I'm more of him yet. So then, it's basically Doc Seismic representing criminals for my builds, Adam Eve for Earth's Defenders, Russ 4 from Worlds Beyond, and Monster Girl for uh, GDA characters. That is surprisingly well balanced, actually. Uh, I didn't really intend to do that, but funny enough, my. My farming goals kind of got rather rather streamlined, which I do appreciate. We got one of each. With the criminals, at least, Angstrom's kind of on the back burner. I do want to get Angstrom powered up, but I am prioritizing um, Seismic for now. Aquarius is down. The fish is down, I repeat, the fish is down. Nice thing about this is... Lots of rewards in both the gems and dossiers department. Now the question is what the next new character is going to be. I don't think it's going to be this week. I feel like Russ was still decently re recent because he was two, week two, two weekend events ago. So I feel like this week will be probably nothing crazy. Um, but next week, I don't know. I don't actually know. I, I've always... I haven't quite done the mental math yet to be like, okay, is it a three-week gap or a four-week gap? Because I, I don't keep track of it. I really should. I really should, but I don't. I should get... You know, if you if you want to know for sure, go back to my videos and uh, take a peek and see see how long it's been since... Uh, see see how long the gaps were. Maybe it was just... Maybe it's just me because there was so much I was... So much summoning I was doing, but I feel like the... Universa event and the Russ Livingston event didn't have a massive gap. Maybe I'm imagining that, but I feel like it wasn't huge. I feel like it was only three weeks. But that's neither here nor there. It could be that we get another From World Beyond character to finally finish it out. Then again, they could do something wacky. It could be... Could be a criminal character. Could be an Earth Defender or GDA character. I would like to get either another... Um, GDA character or an Earth Defender character, as since the global release of the game, we've only ever gotten From World Beyond characters or criminal characters. For good reason. I mean, let's be totally fair here. Those were the factions that needed the most help. Because if I'm remembering correctly, criminals were just... Um, it was Titan and the two Maulers. And was that it for criminals? I think it was, actually. If I'm remembering correctly. Until they got Seismic and Angstrom, which completed the set. And then, shoot, From Worlds Beyond didn't even exist at the time of release. They didn't have any elite characters. So, you know, it's made total sense that they focus on those two factions, because those were the factions that needed it. Which does make me think that they might release one more From Worlds Beyond character before switching to, like, some hero options. But we'll see. I would personally like to see some Viltrumites. I think that would be cool. And they could definitely do some cool stuff with that, which is going to be funny, too, if, if they do make it another From Worlds Beyond character as their next new new character. Is that just going to be, like, a straight-up another From World Beyond event? Because I guess uh, 
if they do that, and if it's like one of the special events, like with Universa and Angstrom, I guess that would be another event where From World Beyond Elites would have a really high drop rate. I mean, I'd be fine with that. I'd be totally fine with that. Get my get my rust powered up. And you know, one of these days, maybe just maybe, I will actually get to Battle Beast. Someday. Someday. And again, if if they release an, a Viltramite for a character, I'm gonna do a hard pivot to them after Russ is done, of course. Which means that Battle Beast is probably doomed to just rot in purgatory for a while until we finally get a gap of releases of World Beyond characters. Because we have had a lot of those, to be fair. To be fair, it's been a lot, but that is because the faction literally did not exist at the global release of the game. In other talking points, as far as the channel goes, as y'all may have briefly seen, I've been starting to do a little bit more Nikkei content, kind of wanting to double dip a little bit, um, because as much as I love posting consecutive videos of Invincible, sometimes it's just not practical. Nice thing is, though, I actually really enjoy doing these Cecil's Nightmares on camera, and when they do have, like, big events and stuff where I can do summons, then it's like, ooh, tasty, tasty content. But I actually do really enjoy Nikkei a lot, so I want to mix some of that in as well. So I would appreciate it if y'all would uh, go watch those videos as well and tell me what you think. Personally, I think Nikkei is, like, ridiculously high quality. And the fact that in terms of revenue, it can actually punch up as high as... Um, Honkai Star Rail, and even Genshin Impact on a good day. I mean, it's like, dang, that's impressive. Especially since I started the game with literally zero intention of taking it seriously. I came, I came for the plot, but I stayed for the plot. If you know what I'm saying. Kind of funny how that works. What can I say? I like to be diverse. Then again, like you said, if you, if you remember from my Mamushi days, me simping is nothing new. Me simping is literally nothing new. It just, it just who I am. It just is. Got through stage 25 there. Easy peasy. This, this one in particular is a bit of a, bit of a coin flip. It's like some missions, you've got to deal with the immortal and just, he doesn't die. And then some missions you get the reanimen who fall apart like the corpses they are. So, you know, it's, it's a bit of back and forth. Ooh, I also love seeing those lightning arcs from Universa. That is some damage. That is some serious damage that you love to see. But yeah. And other and other questions, I suppose, like I said, kinda of diving into Nikkei stuff. I also want to do more skits with, with uh my wife. Those are fun. Um so y'all y'all should let me know if y'all there are any other content or things you want me to cover. Streaming is a big one on my mind. I'm kinda of thinking I might do some test runs of streaming with, like, Genshin Impact when, uh, when that one comes out, because that's what I'm actually kind of hyped for. Um, and I, and, well, and I feel like Genshin Impact didn't translate too well to video just because it is so blank and huge. Streaming, though, maybe, you know? Might be a good test run at the very least. Gotta start somewhere, right? Sometimes, that's, that's one thing I've learned with YouTube is it's the best way to start is to just start, honestly. You, you never know if you can do something or not until you just take a crack at it. That is the best thing to do. I've never streamed with... Or, well, technically I've streamed before, like, on old channels, but, like, I haven't streamed any kind of, like, modern stuff. Like, I've never used OBS to stream. I don't even remember what I streamed with before. Was it OBS I did? I don't remember. Point is, I'm gonna figure it out. That is the gist of that one. Anyways, we just finished 30. I'm, I'm not even paying attention. To it's nice having Universa as powered up as she is. That was, um... I, I, I never want to call anything a good investment in a mobile game. Uh, but as far as mobile game stuff goes, Universa was a... was a spicy pickup. A very spicy pickup indeed. I also had a really crazy idea for streaming, and it doesn't help that I don't have an artistic bone in my body, but I had a crazy idea for streaming to, like, do, like, build, like, my own VTuber model or commission a VTuber model of, like, my profile picture, 
only you know as a VTuber for like streaming and stuff. Because I do, I do like the VTuber models. I've been on a big VTuber kick lately, so I feel like that would be kind of cool. <laughs> Might be more effort than it's worth, but eh, like I said, you never know until you try. But that's a big lesson with YouTube: is don't be afraid to try new things. Dive in and see what happens. Okay. Uh, the immortal really slows me down in the worst way. Get out of here, dude. Get all the way out of here. Just go. Just get out of the way. Please and thank you. Okay. We're starting to get into the higher echelons here. This is stage 35. Yeah, it's always the immortal. Why is it always the immortal? Get out of here, dude. Yeah, we gotta we actually gotta start caring a little bit. We're pushing Universal around, but not really doing any actual damage. There we go. I think Invincible got the final blows on him. Didn't quite get the, the dossier, but we still got the 250 gems, which is not too bad. Okay. Oh, did y'all y'all probably saw that they actually did um, briefly make a paid pack for the molecular enhancements. It wasn't. I mean, I mean, it was pretty aggressively priced, but I I can definitely see that it's like yeah, there's there's a market for that one because there, there's no shortage of skills in the game that are actually pretty good so it's like yeah i mean that was bound to happen i just wish they'd make some more molecular enhancement rewards and like cecil's nightmares honestly i think that would be good cecil's nightmare rewards why why is that adam eve being such a pain stop it with the shields just stop just just fry and die already thank you I also wonder when we're gonna get a uh, get some new story chapters. And of course, they kind of reference that the next chunk of the story most likely is gonna be on Mars, with Russ Livingston being one of the antagonists, I'm sure. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm hoping we get some more story chapters soon because, again, courtesy of Universa, I have gotten much much stronger, so that would really help with resource building up. Because the loot from those story missions is actually pretty dang good. Not gonna lie. Boom. There we go. That one took a little longer. That was tough. I still got two stars, though. We take those. We're almost to 40. 39. After this one, we'll probably put Universa back in the back line. Because she is starting to take a little fire. It was good to have her on the front line for the sake of speed, but now we're actually actually in fight. As opposed to just slaughter. Alright. Still no question of victory, though, which is nice. It's just a matter of how fast. Crunch. Okay. Are we gonna get the second star? I think so. That was close. That was a bit of a that was a bit of a close one. Did we get that second star? Yes, we did. Very nice. Okay. Gonna move you in the back there. I think that'll do. It probably will behoove me one of these days to actually get robot powered up. Because especially for those for these tougher missions, having a proper healer is actually important. But I don't have that, so Green Ghost is just gonna have to do as far as my support goes. Part of me kind of debates how important a healer is, but for this event where it's like you take a massive point loss if you do lose somebody, yeah, it's probably important. It's probably kind of important, not gonna lie. This one, though, I'll be surprised if we get two stars. Probably just gonna be the one. Just because, holy crap, these guys are bulky. Like, could y'all stop, please? Just, just stop existing. Please and thank you. Oh, the Immortal. I need something that can cleanse those invincibility shields. Pronto. Almost. There we go. Well, that's still the 100 gems from 
from one star. Which, you know what? That is still pretty good. Still pretty good. Okay. This one's not too bad. Uh, any any mission that does not have the immortal is is pretty okay in my book. He's just such a time waster because between his invincibility shield and the fact that his main ability stuns people, uh, he is the death of high scores. And we hate it. We hate it very much. Okay, let's fry the fish. There we go. And they're gone. Nice, nice, nice. That was pretty good. Oh, and there he is, the immortal. There to ruin my time. We are about to hit a wall, but we haven't quite hit it yet, I don't think. Alan is one that I really should power up because he is just such a good defender, but I've just got so much on the list that I'd rather do. Okay. Well, the Rihanna men are done. Nice. Nice hit from Universe there. And now we're just trying to mow through the Immortal. As is tradition, he is wasting my time. There we go. Okay. That's 42. Ooh, three Monster Girls. This might stop me. This could stop me. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of bruiser power on their side of the field. Yee. Okay, okay. Still fighting the good fight here. Alan is hanging on for dear life. Just barely. Mm -hmm. Hard to say, hard to say. Big hit from Universa here. Okay, I think that might seal the deal. That was a big hit from Universa. Ooh, but it's not over yet. Okay, Universa's AoE hits are doing some serious work on those monster girls. Come on, come on. Oh, oof, okay. I think we're okay. But wow, that was tough. All right, yeah, finish her off. Come on, come on. There we go. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Okay. That one was a little tough. This is stage 44. Can we get through it? I don't know. Not quite as much bruiser muscle on this one, but they're just going to be straight up bulky at this point. I mean, once you get up this high, they're just stat balls no matter what. Let's see what happens. Duplicate survived just long enough to use her ability, which I do appreciate. Come on, people, come on. Hang in there. Good hit from Alan, big hit from Universa. I need one more upgrade on Universa's main ability so that she can get the AoE field from her, from her main ability. That'll be nice. Oh, unless something magical happens, I don't think we're going to beat him. Yeah, no, no, yep, no, no shot, no shot. Admittedly, that was close. We'll give it one more try, but I think that is where the buck stops, unfortunately. Because we're dealing with seismic plus five-star characters. They are bulky. They are really, really bulky. Let's just see what happens here, just for the sake of experimentation, if nothing else. I would very much like it if y'all stay away from Universa, please and thank you. Duplicate is out of here, unfortunately. Nah, nah, no shot. No shot. They're trying their hardest, but this is just too much muscle. This is just way too much muscle on the enemy team. Oh, and that Titan is just refusing to die. Ugh. 
He's like one shot too. Okay, well he died at least. But that's just too much. Too much muscle. That's okay. It was a valiant effort indeed. But we will wrap it up there. Let's see how well we did. Ooh, 49. We, we won't stay in the top 50 for sure. I'd love to. But they'll knock us down to 100 for sure. I'd love to get that second dossier. But there is there is no chance. So we'll, we'll get the 400 gems, the dossier, and the school's out card. And uh, yeah, I'm good with that. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on just kind of my ramblings and ideas. Talked about a lot today, but I think that's always fun when we're just doing the Cecil's Nightmares run-throughs. Always a good time. So yeah, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below, and we shall see you next time. Have a good one.